All right, everyone, welcome back here with another Anika Learn segment. So excited to actually meet Casey Stewart in person. Yeah, IRL, here we are. I was like, we've talked on the internet yeah. and like been internet friends and like I know your brother and True. stuff and now here we are. Indeed, and you know, Casey does awesome work in terms of content creation and you're an influencer and uh, you have a, a blog that's been around for so, so long. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was really, really so touched when, when you saw that I was doing this that you actually said, hey girl, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I mean, I've had my blog since 2005, so, you know, that's pre all the social media yes. sites, no one was really blogging back then, so I spent the last 10 years of my life, like, growing up my 20s on the internet, on social, writing about it on my blog. Incredible. And what what has it meant to you? How has it really changed your life? I mean, I mean blogging. The biggest thing is, I always imagined myself you know, being flown on trips and getting gifts yes. and speaking to people about, you know, speaking at conferences or like, you know, maybe winning an award or I kind of imagined doing the stuff. So blogging social media has really allowed me to find my passion, pursue it and make, make a job out of the things that I really want to do. It's a lot of work. I make it look glamorous on the outside, but I do spend a lot of time at home on my computer. What would you say, because I'm just kind of getting things started, yeah. it's out there, my blog is up, but you know, I'm just kind of yeah. going along. Could you identify a few things that you wish you knew when you first started? Because there are people who are watching as well who are thinking about starting a blog or have one as well, so I'd want to be able to... Yeah, I think, um, you know, I wish when I started I was more consistent. When I first started, I didn't really have a lot of people reading it. There wasn't social media, so it was hard to get it out there. I wish I kind of didn't doubt myself and I knew that it would become a thing. Because now starting, there's social media and it's easier to promote yourself. Back then it was like posting my blog on MySpace. Yeah. Um, so I wish I knew social media was going to happen. If I was starting again, I probably would have put a bit more research into knowing what I was doing. But also when I started, there wasn't a lot of like resources yeah, yeah. so right. I think I just would have you know had confidence in myself to like be organized and you know stay focused definitely okay good to know well I'm trying to do the research here as well yeah man. that's great this is that. the best way to start is chatting with people who know what they're doing or kind of know no girl you you go you know you you're an award winner <laughs> this is like your thing yeah but do you do you still at the core of it, do a lot of blogging or is yeah. it working with brands? And um, I kind of have like a mix. I do still do a lot of blogging. I like to, I do sponsored posts where I contacted to write about something. I'm going home to write something that this post I've done yesterday. It's hard to do it all yourself. Um, but so I still do a lot of blogging. I also just document my life on my blog. So it's kind of like my diary. So sometimes it's a post where I'm sitting in the park and I'm writing something on my phone or I have thoughts and feelings about something and I just want to share that. It's just a blog. Um, I update all my social channels myself. I'm a one moment show. Yeah. And um, But I also do a fair bit of consulting on helping brands tell their story with social media. How to create content, who to partner with, what influencers to work with, and how to tell their brand story. And then I also have a speaking agent I speak at conferences sometimes. It's hard for me to kind of just say me, 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 me. Yeah, you know I mean, mean, how do you do that? And how do you respond to people who may think that is narcissistic, for example? The cool thing about having a blog and telling stories is you're creating memories and you're documenting and other people get to share in that. And it's, I mean, if you, it can be narcissistic, but I feel like social media also breeds a really positive sharing culture. You know, people want to know, they've watched you on the news for so long, people want to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, sure there'll always be some haters, but they can suck it. Yes. If you don't like it, go and watch something else on the internet, go hate someone else. I think you, I was really excited to see that you were making a change. I was like, welcome to the, you know, adventure land. Okay. Cool. Now it's you're cool. self-directing whatever it is you want to do and you really can, if you, if there's something that you want to do, you just need to put that out there, put that vibe out there connect with people that you know that are doing that and then more of that will be attracted into your life. How do you promote 
How do you promote your blog? Well, my blog, um, over the past uh, five or six years, I've been featured in lots of media. So, I mean, I was cartooned in The Walrus, I've been in The Wall Street Journal, I've had, there's a feature called The Perks of Being an Influencer, right when Perks of Wallflower came yes, out, yes. and I had a full page marketing mag, and so I've had a lot of, yeah, it's cool! <laughs> I'm like, mom, look. Luckily, because I have my blog for what seems like a hundred years, um, I a lot of PR people know me, and they've moved around to different jobs. So building relationships has been a big part of building my blog. So building relationships with people who represent brands, who represent media. Today I did a poll on my Twitter, but then I opened my Snapchat, and I was like, hey, if you follow me on Twitter, I just did a poll. Go vote. You got 20 minutes. Mm. So I do cross-promoting on stuff. So. Um, I'll put something on Twitter and on Facebook and I'll direct people to different things wherever I want them to go or um, I can sometimes if I want to boost a post if I'm working on something that is uh, sponsored with a brand I will you know add some ad dollars into that on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram to kind of get get it Push get more up. traffic how so you, you used to blog daily yeah so I blog every I blogged every day from 2008 till about 2014 and then now what do you do? I mean, I still blog like um, like three or four times a week. Girl! <laughs> I used to work also in the TV world mm -hmm. and I um, I had a salary and then I, I left there and that was 2010 to 2012 where I didn't work full time mm -hmm. and like I was broke. I did not make money. I was pitching people like, how can you pay me $100 to write this blog post? They're like, why are we going to pay you? It's social media. And I was like, because I need to eat. Like I can't pay. I had a breakdown in 2012. I was like, I can't pay my rent in chips and chocolate. No. I was like, gonna throw a table. I was like, what's this? And I feel like 2012 to 2014, there was a shift where people started creating budgets for social media. Mm -hmm. And then from 2014, see, it's been a long it's time. It's been a long time. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> but you're not aging. No, no, no. no but no. like from 2014 to 2016, now there's in really the rise of like influencer marketing and people creating campaigns where it's like we're gonna hire this person and they're going to be the writer, editor, director, author, promoter, marketing. They're gonna do this whole suite of jobs. So do you use any of those? Because um, I'm getting all these emails of these the stuff for socials, so yeah. the the paid post things and the oh. various networks to help influencers. Yeah. And do you use any of them? Um, but I am part of um, Niche, which is a company that was recently acquired by Twitter. And you can sign up with all your social accounts. It has a dashboard in there, and brands can pitch you right through that platform. Um, I'm also part of one called Speaker. I'm on that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I've made a few. Another one is Isaiah, which is a big um, like blog kind of network. But I don't make a lot of money from that. I know I'm excited for you. I was really excited. I was like, yes, I would, if there's anything I can do to help you, I will. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. That's it. Thanks. Bye -bye.